Hey everybody, Michaela with Enjoy Movies Your Way. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a pin on your account and how to use that pin in depth. So stay tuned and stay with me if you wanna know all the features that our pin allows. First off, we're gonna go up into our profile. We're gonna hit account. Once into account, you can clearly see that it says right here, set pin. So I'm gonna click that. A pin number enables you to better control. We'll send you an email with a link to enter a pin number. So I'm gonna hit okay from here. Now I'm gonna go into my email. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit this email. It's very simple, as you can see, it states exactly what to do. So I'm just going to use this link right here to set a pin. Once I hit that, it's going to ask me to enter a pin number. So I'm just gonna enter one like this. I'm gonna hit set pin. My pin has been set, so now I'm gonna go okay. Now, anytime I wanna manage my profiles with just a regular pin like this, if I go in to manage profiles, it requires me to enter my pin number. So here we go, I'm gonna enter my pin. Now I can manage my profile from here, change my settings, things like that, which is super helpful. Now let's just exit out of here and let me show you something else. So if I go in to my son Wesley's profile, I am going to go into pin restrictions and I can actually choose the age rating that I will allow him to watch. So my son is only four years old, so I'm just gonna go all the way up to tiny ones. Now, say he goes in accidentally, is messing around, clicks a movie that's rated R, PG-13, it will automatically require the pin number to watch the movie. I know my kids get a hold of the controller and they don't really know what they're watching. They could accidentally turn on a scary movie for them or something like that. So a pin restriction is really helpful and handy if your kids are just going in and, and clicking whatever, but they don't exactly know what they're clicking on or just however you wanna use it, it's just a nice feature. So I'm just gonna set it to tiny ones and I'm going to hit this button here require pin to change filter settings. So once I set his filters, which right now he has all filters on because he's smaller, he actually has to ask me to change his filter settings. So he can't just go into his own profile and take everything off. Now let's hit submit on this. Now when we go into explore the app, I am actually gonna go into Wesley's profile and now I am going to go and try to watch The Last of Us because it is rated mature. So if I click this from his profile, it pops up automatically. A pin is required to watch this show with a rating of TV mature. So now I would have to enter my profile pin in order for him to watch that show. They have to ask for your help. Let's say he really wants to watch something that I don't want him to watch that I don't approve of. He could go into my profile and he could go back and now watch The Last of Us, for example. If you don't want this to happen, very simple fix. So we just go into settings, myenjoytv.com. I'm gonna enter the pin number I set up for all profile settings. I'm gonna hit my profile as the main account profile. I'm going to hit require pin to select profile. I'm just gonna make the profile pin for this learning video the same as my normal pin. I'm gonna hit submit. Now, hit explore the app. Now watch what happens here. So I'm gonna switch over to Wesley. And as you can see, I have a lock on my profile. So if he now were to try and click mine, it requires my profile pin for him to watch from my profile settings. So the pin setting obviously is very advanced. There's a lot to it, but we just wanted to go over and show you exactly how to set one up in case you're interested in doing so for your kids' accounts or whoever you have watching with you. If you don't want them accessing your profile and messing up the shows that you're watching by watching something there, it's also a good reason to have a pin if you're sharing with friends and family. So that way they can't just go into your profile, watch something, and then all of a sudden your featured is not the shows that you want. So you can really use this however you want. If you don't wanna use it, of course, it's totally up to you. But just wanted to pop on here and show you the advanced pin features so that you know it's available to you if you think that's something that would really benefit you and your family. 